Hello, this is uh, Smanesh Patel from EIA Capital Group. Um, today is June 20th, 2010, and we're going to be doing our weekly uh, analysis of the currency markets. Before we go through, let me go through and give you a disclaimer. This, this presentation is basically for educational purpose only. All charts are either a think or swim or trade station. Uh, most of them today pretty much will be in trade station. Here are my contact details if you have any questions in regards to uh, this video or anything else in regards to Ichimoku, you could go to eiicapital.com and you can find information more in regards to uh, Ichimoku, ask questions for the, in the form or uh, find out more information in regards to the book I've written. Okay, so let's go straight into the chart and let's go into the famous Euro USD and see what's going on. If you look at the Euro USD, um, basically here's the big nice trend. Uh, with all the panic in the euro USD in the euro currency and you could kind of see that last two weeks we're kind of being in the pullback mode now we're in a pullback mode reason why is we haven't penetrated even the Tinkington the Cajun thing going up so now we're kind of coming up and if you look at last week last week was kind of a non week as you can say uh, if you draw a line here on the Chacal peaks um, if you look here that's at the Tinkington the first peak is right here uh, if you look, you kind of meet here and here too. So that's one level that we got to look for. The 2575 uh, trade station shows you the micro pips. So that last digit you could pretty much ignore. Uh, and then if you look here, this is kind of like a little support level here on going down. So we kind of corner this to kind of see exactly where it's going on. Let's go look at the daily charts, but this is very, very bearish as you could see. Tinkinson is still pointing down. Cajunson uh, is, is pretty much gone flat. It's kind of far away. So we are expecting a pullback. The key is, is that we're expecting a pullback to the Tinkinson, minimum at least. Um, so we're, we're, we gotta, we'll continue to wait to see what happens and then we'll go from there. Let's go to the daily time frame. <clears throat> Daily time frame will give you a bigger picture. If you look here, um, we're still in the pullback mode, as this says. We don't know exactly how this is going to go, but if you look here, we pretty much have gone above the the Cajunson now. And if you look, the Takenson is also pointing up. So what may happen is this may go up to this little barrier here, the 25, 75. Take that, bounce off that, come right back down here to 2348. Uh, do like a mini miniature pullback and then keep on going um, you know so keep on going higher and uh, what it possibly may do is it may come to the bottom of this Kumo cloud bounce off it or may come to the top of the Kumo cloud poke its head out and then go back down we don't know exactly where these pullbacks pretty much end uh, no one really does uh, you just only time will tell and you gotta look, look for confirmations but uh, you know you could tell on here is that we definitely won't look for a bearish trade at all unless the euro USD goes below 22, uh, 1.2273. Uh, right now it's in bullish mode, so you're definitely uh, looking at counter trend strategies only, not tr uh, trend strategies. Let's go look at a 120 minute chart, kind of get a glimpse on what's going on at a 120 minute. And you can kind of see we haven't closed below the, the Cajun Sin at all, and we've been going higher and higher and higher. Uh, in fact, if you look here, when it broke out of the cloud, it did a little pullback, and then pretty much has taken off. So, uh, some opportunities if you're if you've been playing a 120 minute chart, you're pretty much up 300 pips right now, and you're continuing to uh, taking your counts going higher and higher. The reason why is you're using Cajunson with a buffer as your stop. Um, if you're using closing prices, it's perfect because it, you're not taking this into account and so forth. Um, so. Everything looks good as far as Euro USD. Pretty much, in it's in the counter trend mode. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go look at the Ichimoku dashboard rating um, off the website. So I'm gonna shrink this down a little so we could see it. And you could see it here. Let me go back to the very beginning. Remember, in the dashboard, we want for bullish scenarios, we want a rating of five, six, seven, eight or bear scenarios in negative five, six, seven, eight, all the time frames. Or if there's something that's boundary condition, then you could kind of look for that. If you look here, Euro USD, there's conflict. Daily is basically showing you a bearish rating, whereas the 120 and 240 are still uh, are showing you bullish. 
so there's no consistency there over here in the US CAD we could go look at that in a minute but the daily basically needs to get a little more stronger uh, in order for this to be effective if you can look the bull Kumo future is basically bullish so that's got a ton bearish uh, if you continue to go through here US yen shows that it's, it's trending on all time frames so that's an opportunity we could go look for a trend trade there um, and really no other currency there is kind of showing you any consistency at all so let's go look at the US yen trade if you look at the US yen trade um, it's basically showing you a bearish signal uh, and you could see here let's go to weekly now it's showing you a bearish but look at this it's kind of still in the Kumo cloud so you got to be very very careful so these are borderline conditions uh, so this really is not a bearish play right now uh, so I would be very careful if you look at a weekly it's kind of getting to uh, kind of get to the bottom of the cloud and kind of bounced off if you go to the daily remember a negative 8 is where it's really bearish negative 5 is called a borderline so you got your future cloud here uh, the Chacal it needs to kind of come down into this space here and if you look here the Tinkinson Cajunson relationship it's kind of inverted but both of them pointing down so that's kind of why the rating is kind of giving you a little higher right now even though there's inverted but it's a little more bearish movement this thing has a potential coming out I would say probably about five or six more days if this thing just consolidates this thing's gonna naturally come out to be a bearish momentum uh, moving forward but the weekly is kind of just telling you that this is going in the consolidation pattern so uh, always go with your weekly time frame uh, and you can see that this is basically just going sideways um, and really it hasn't done anything at all uh, let's go look at US CAD real fast US CAD on a weekly same scenario it's being bearish looks like it's a pullback it's gonna, pretty much done it came up here got to the bottom of the cloud bounced off it came back here and retested this here uh, we got to see exactly what happens this week because the Tinkinson did not follow price at all last week on the weekly and this may come down to a head and shoulder inverted pattern there uh, uh, let's go look at the daily and if you look at the daily uh, it's really just choppy there's nothing really there at all um, let's go look at the pound USD real fast Pound USD, you could see that there's not any much here. This is a counter trend play. Uh, it's coming to the top of the cloud, but if the future cloud is basically still bearish. So this could go pretty much go any way either. Also, uh, let's look at CAD Yen. This is my favorite pair. Uh, this really hasn't done anything either. This is just chop chop. Uh, pretty much just consolidating. If you shrink this down, you could see this just doing nothing at all. Uh, I'm just shrinking it down. You could kind of see it's just ranging here. So this really hasn't done anything, but this also has a potential breaking out. But there's no momentum right now because the Chicago is going for the cloud, and that cloud was created from those huge volatility that we had here on those days. So I think that's it for the currencies. Uh, stay tuned for more videos that we will come out as we get more time. Uh, but again, here's my contact information. Uh, you're more than welcome to go to eiicapital.com and you can post your questions and anything in regards to this video there.